There were some really interesting comments on my previous smoke in a vacuum video that I thought would be good to try out. There are also some common questions that I thought I'd answer. First, I needed to upgrade my vacuum chamber in a couple of ways. I added these fat conductors on the side so I could put some serious current through them without them melting. The thing about vacuums is that there's almost no air to conduct the heat away, so my original terminals began melting eventually. I also added some two bulkhead fittings to let me water cool things inside for future experiments. One comment suggested using a circular polarizing filter, which I've now installed on my camera. I also used loads of felt to cover as much as possible of the inside of the chamber. I've hooked up my vacuum gauge and I'm much more carefully controlling the pressure inside the chamber now. You'll also be able to see how the smoke production affects the vacuum quality. I'll also show the voltage and current readouts from the heater coil uh, as I adjust it. A comment that was made many times was that it can't be a vacuum if there is smoke. I just want to clear this up because it's a terminological distinction. When I use the word vacuum, I use it in the engineering sense, which is distinct from a perfect vacuum, which this definitely isn't. At the vacuum levels in this chamber, about 99.8% of the air has been removed. The pressure is about 1000 microns, which is pretty much exactly one tor or about one millibar. This is realistically the limit I can physically achieve using a two-stage rotary vane pump on this specific vacuum chamber with all the contaminants and all the off-gassing materials inside. A completely clean and sealed stainless steel chamber with this specific pump might get down to around 20 microns at best. This vacuum would technically be classed as a medium vacuum. To get an even lower pressure than this, you have to use specialist equipment and vacuum safe materials. One type of vacuum pump you can use to get lower than this is an oil diffusion pump. I actually have one of these for something else I have planned, but I haven't finished making the things that I need for that project yet. Another common comment was that there's no smoke in the chamber, only vapor. And variations of this were you can't have smoke without uh, combustion. This is true for the most part. Most of the clips I showed in the video were vapor, but at some points I cranked up the current so high that it pyrolyzed the tissue paper which did actually produce real smoke in the chamber. I prefer not to do this though because it sticks to all the surfaces in the chamber and absolutely stinks and uh, I have to clean it more thoroughly so most of the time I'll be using fog fluid or propylene glycol to demonstrate the smoke because it behaves roughly the same way. What you've been seeing on the screen so far is an old mixture of flash powder I had in a pot on the side which contained sulfur, aluminium powder and potassium nitrate. In the clip it's reacting as the heating element starts to boil the ingredients you can actually see it spitting molten sulfur out through the sphere of gas around the reaction. At these vacuum levels, anything that produces smoke makes a really interesting sphere when there isn't enough fluid around to produce convection. As you can see from the pressure gauge, the gas generated by the reaction doesn't dramatically affect the vacuum pressure due to the small quantities being released. You can also see, even though the pressure is so low, there is still a very minutely different pressure in the top right of the chamber where the vent hole is. During these experiments I kept the vacuum pump running, which means that very slowly the gases and particles being created slowly drift out the vent. In this next clip I have a small fan from an old toy quadcopter which I've placed on top of a small 3D printed stand. This is held in place with some white plasticine. I adjust the current to heat the smoke fluid and it produces some really nice layering effects. Occasionally it will boil and spit out plumes of vapour which looks super cool. The vacuum has gone up to about 2100 microns, as you can see from the gauge. This is about 99.75% vacuum. Even at these pressures, there are still more than 10 to the power of 26 atoms in the chamber. I'm going to fast forward through this bit where I fill the chamber with vapour and then we'll get to the point where I start to turn on the propeller. You can see when the fan is at the right speed it seems to set up a stable system of currents. You can even see at some points what looks like vortex ring states being shown. I don't have much else to say so I'll just leave it playing with the interesting videos of the fan and the smoke. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see inside a vacuum. Thanks for watching.